But something that is good news, for me at least, is there's a Star Trek day coming, everybody. Star Trek day. I always try to talk about Star Trek on this show. Everyone shuts me down. I'm just saying, everyone shuts me down. <laughs> no one wants to talk about Star Trek. Nerd alert. Nerd alert. I will say, Star Trek is coming. The Star Trek day on September 8th. You can watch it on Paramount+. Plus. You can watch it on CBS. You can watch it on Pluto TV. You can watch it uh, on Mixable. I don't know what that is, but Mixable is going to be streaming on there. Of course, your CBS affiliates, Set Comedy Central, Paramount Network, the Pop TV, Fave TV, and Smithsonian.com if you want to watch it. And they're going to actually air the first few episodes of Strange New Worlds. So if you haven't seen that, you have a chance to watch that. And they'll be doing PR stuff all day, hosted by Jerry O'Connell, which I'm like, this man's finally coming back. I mean, he was on Lower Decks, but I haven't really seen him do a lot. I mean, I miss Sliders. Great show. Just saying. But nobody wants to talk about Star Trek, do we? Nobody wants to talk about Star Trek here. No, I'm no one wants to talk about. Why is on Smithsonian TV? <laughs> it's well, a weird it's, thing. It's, 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 it's history, right? It's history. It, yeah, yeah. This was a, a educational a long content time ago in a, a galaxy far away. Galaxy right? far, far <laughs> away. <laughs> That's a joke. That's a Star Wars joke. Don't worry about I, I it. I think, I think that means you have to drink, Sean. That's all I'm saying. I think oh. you have to drink because you made a joke. Oh no! Oh no! no. It's kind of an impression. Mm. <laughs> and if this is your first time on Cruise Control, it's Friday. Of course, we do a little bit of drinking on Friday. You know, we have fun. We just try to, like, let loose and have a good time, talk about some news and still, you know. I mean, is Jerry O'Connell, like, a talk show host now? Like, isn't that his job? I don't know. I think that he's great, though. <laughs> The he's dude's a, got a million host. lives. He can do whatever the hell. All he, he does wants. is talk about how his wife yeah. is a Scorpio, who his wife, by the way, is Rebecca Romaine. Like he says it three thousand times. I mean, doesn't like he's Scorpio's three, amazing. Literally three thousand times. My wife is a Scorpio. If you're married to a Scorpio, a, you know that like whatever it is, it's always because he's married to a Scorpio. There's a few Scorpios in the room right now, Sabrina. So I'm just you know. saying he yeah. he says it. I've never heard somebody talk about somebody's uh, sign more than this guy. <laughs> there, it was actually on John Oliver. He did a whole compilation of him in different on different episodes of his talk show saying my wife is a Scorpio. It's actually pretty fucking funny. <laughs> I did not know that. But if you John are, Oliver's, I don't know the name of the talk show, but he does host the talk show. I mean, I'm going to find out right now. Let's see. Let I'm me sure Jerry later. O'Connell's name is somewhere on that. Uh, he's probably Sean. Sean, you're not going to care about Star Trek Day at all, are you? I mean, I care about it. Like, again, <laughs> like this is, you know, uh, uh, I, I wish there was a word to explain uh, what Star Trek is and uh, what it means to, so, you know, uh, sci-fi fans uh, everywhere. Um, I penis, maybe. I don't know. But, I penis. <laughs> who doesn't love Star Trek? Like, again, like it, it, it's been it's been done for, for so many years and they keep finding new ways to breathe new life into the franchise and change up the formula and do new different oh. worlds. You think you've seen it all, but you know, yeah, I'm all for it. Let's keep it going. It's still been done right. And there's uh, not a lot to hate for it. Yeah. I, 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 I love, you know, people go back and forth about the new star Trek and I actually like strange new worlds a lot. They had a musical episode and Sabrina hated it when oh, I was God. playing that. She hated it. I literally was, was like, like is this a musical of Star Trek? I was like, if you don't turn this off now, I'm going to throw your laptop through the window. I thought, <laughs> I, I, I thought it was fun. And I still enjoy the new stuff. The Discovery is coming to an end. So they're going to actually yeah. have a big, you know, celebratory moment for that too. So if you like that show, it's going, it's going to be going away. And unfortunately, but it had a good run. Rachel, I know you're not in Star Trek, right? Not at all. You probably don't no. want to talk about Star Trek.